Hablando de la sabiduría técnica. To master an art form, improvisation is okay sometimes. But when you have a goal, a destination, practice is very important. In my case, the goals are the use of color and the possibilities of expression with the brush and the canvas. The path of practicing, of repeating a theme, produces a mastery that allows for harmonies, rhythms, accents, silence, and voids within a painting. But this capacity emerges only by practicing, the same way a pianist would exercise his sonatas every day or a Buddhist his meditations. <laughs>« You and I were together for so long. I gave you love. We played with words and you responded with an incredible preciousness, indescribable. But now, whore, you want to show yourself to the masses. You want others to see you. The horror! For the real happiness is found between the creator and his work of art, and in the passion and dialogues we had. It is not there when shown to others. This was written by Horace, 60 years before Christ. Isn't this deep? This is the way I feel every time my work leaves my studio. <laughs> Isn't this beautiful? Louisa Richter is a painter who has always been active in the world of fine arts. During the last 50 years, her work has been included in many important art collections around the world. And she has been recognized with honors in exhibits across the Americas and Europe. In 1978, she was chosen to represent Venezuela in the world exhibition Biennale di Venezia. In Germany, her paintings are shown in the Latin American Institute of Berlin, the Sindelfingen Stuttgart Museum, and in the Cultural House of Berlin, Postdam Ratshaus Arts, and in the galleries Hartham in Stuttgart and Barsakov in Berlin. She also has been exhibited in New York's Guggenheim and in several arts fairs in Europe, the Art Köln and the Art Basel, among others. More recently, she has been invited to show her work in Beijing and Korea. When you try to understand the reasons to produce art in the 21st century, you have to analyze the social and political processes that are occurring. The influence of Skype, of YouTube, or Facebook, of watching television from all over the world. I try to digest all these factors into something I call the vibration of our time. This produces in me a mental climate that I try to illustrate within my composition and the strokes I slide over the canvas. I think I am capable of expressing this with a brush with authenticity. A 
Now digital techniques, the copy-paste, printers and software are being used in the art process. The question is if this new art is as valid as the art produced in the past. In the course of history there have been many ways of interpreting art and many reasons to paint. Today's art has to be associated with our ways of life. We all live in a hurry and the rules of the day-to-day -day are constantly changing. We are all struggling, trying to find equilibrium and unity in all this chaos. It's like the process of creating a collage. Today, we are all living a collage.